So ICP is sitting at seven dollars. Our good old friend. <sighs> Something that <laughs> moved moved sideways for this long. This is on a weekly. This is one week. Each candle is a week. And it has behaved throughout. This is since when? This is since June. Since June, almost, it is moving on sideways. It is moving sideways and not doing much. And we did have a little bit of hope that maybe this time it will do something. But even in the current case scenario, if you look at it, this is on daily. From the past days of October, or you can say start of October, it is only moving sideways. It didn't perform well, and of course, 7.6 was the support. The moment it lost 7.6, our next line of support was at 6.9, which it tested it today as well. And it had a reaction to it at 6.912, and now it is sitting at $7. Of course, when you lose your support, that turns into your resistance. Now $7.6 is the resistance, which was its support for quite a bit and it couldn't hold on to it which is extremely sad and now it's this up 7.6 the market conditions have been shared in the bitcoin video what to expect from the market next three days are extremely important and in case of icp i wouldn't rely on 7 uh, 6.9 i don't think this uh, area of support will hold either because 7.6 was critical for it once you lose a critical area of support you're pretty much in an area of uh, free fall and then your next line of support it goes all goes all the way down and now let me see which one can we use yeah it's going to be 6.3 it's going to be 6.3, which was the lowest, I think, for the month of August. Yeah, for the month of August. So it, it will go back down to August prices. Just imagine that. That's horrible. But that's how ICP is performing right now. Damn it. It's okay. That's not the end of the world. Um, we are in a bullish market. Things can change. Things can turn around if it decides to hold on to one area of support. It sits there and starts going up. Then it will start delivering on bullish targets. Of course, um, Bitcoin needs to hold on to its area as well because once a project loses its own support, that shows that now it is a completely at the mercy of Bitcoin because those who are supposed to buy you are not buying you. Now your support is totally relying on the peg, the coin that you are attached to. Because those who are in love with ICP, they should have bought ICP enough and wouldn't have let it fall down. But that happened, which leaves you totally at the mercy of Bitcoin. But in case of other coins, those who are performing well, like if you talk about Dogecoin, it has a lot of volume of its own, irrespective of how Bitcoin behaves, it has its own behavior, but that's not the case scenario with uh, ICP. I'm using Dodge as an example because I cover it in my 10 videos that I make. And that's why ICP is facing this free fall. After 7.6, it has lost people's interest because whenever it went to 7.6, the journey, it went up, it went up, it always reacted. And this is multiple days. It's almost start of start of October. It always behaved well, but and it had an opportunity to go up, but it lost it anyway. The area of support now is at six point three, all the way down, which is a horrible area of support to offer. But I can't offer anything else. I wouldn't rely on six point nine. I have to rely on six point three, which is the August low and I would hope that it will hold and it wouldn't go to any other lower prices.